Petition has been filed to the U.S. Supreme Court looking for review in the Taforis Johnson case. Now, you might recall that Johnson is on death row after being convicted of killing a Jefferson County Sheriff's deputy back in 1995. Advocates have said for years that Johnson is innocent and that their fight continues. Jillian Brooks joining us live now to explain the petition and how the advocates are trying to get more eyes on this case. Jillian. Sheldon, that petition that was filed on Monday is an opportunity for the nation's highest court to review this case. Now, his legal team says that the state's key witness was paid $5,000 for her testimony, meaning that it warrants now she was paid for that in secret, warranting a new trial. For 25 years, Taforis Johnson, a 50 year old black man, has been on death row in Alabama for a crime that he did not commit. DeForest Johnson has been seeking his innocence in the murder of Jefferson County Sheriff's Deputy William G. Hardy since he was sentenced to prison in 1998. Advocates and his legal team have continued to push for a new trial. In December of 2022, the Alabama Supreme Court declined to review the case, making the next step going to the U.S. Supreme Court. This case is, is really complex, but what it boils down to is that Justice does not mean defending every conviction that's ever been obtained. Sometimes it means recognizing a problem and trying to fix it. On the lawn of First Presbyterian Church, advocates are hoping to motivate others to stand behind Johnson's case with a banner. We hope that churches and people across the city will be inspired to support him and advocate for him to gain a new trial. The banner tour launched in July and has since traveled the greater Birmingham area, placed on the properties of faith-based institutions. And it's gaining momentum. Now half a dozen churches from cities across the state are wanting to display that message as well. We're going to keep going as long as it takes, as long as it takes to get Mr. Johnson a new trial and to get him free. Now, if you are a church and are interested in having this banner on your property, whether that's in your yard here or on the building, you can contact Elliot and his team, and we have a link to do so on the WBRC News app. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Jillian Brooks, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.